Brex downtown parking structure approved on the eve of a $60 million resort opening. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, a Como man has been missing 48 hours, last seen south of Summit County, and his girlfriend, Cody Taylor, is turning to Facebook for help. He had a hat that he was all time, and it was laying by the barbed wire fence, and there was only a couple of friends in that we can't find anything, and no one's heard from him or seen him two days now. Garrett Wade went missing in Como Monday night when he stepped outside for a cigarette and never returned. Taylor filed a missing persons report with Park County Sheriff, and she's been been scouring the area with Wade's family, claiming this is unusual. He was in extremely good mood. He was sober and everything, so it's extremely out of the ordinary. Six foot one with blonde hair and blue eyes. He went missing with two cell phones, both now out of batteries. Contact Park County Sheriff with info. Breckenridge is one step away from a new downtown parking structure. Town Council reviewed and approved plans for that structure at last night's meeting, bringing 962 parking spaces to the south gondola lot, an increase of 75%. Cost is $3 million for phase one. All that's left now is a final CDOT traffic study. Groundbreaking is tentatively scheduled for this spring. This afternoon was grand opening of the Ranahan, a $60 million timeshare project with 67 rooms north of Breckenridge. It's been seven years in the making with help from thousands of people, starting with Welk Resorts CEO John Fredericks. What's inspiring about the location for us is the natural beauty setting with the mountainside, the river, uh, the, the natural wildlife that we see running by the resort almost every day. There was Director of Construction George Jones working with local contractor R.A. Nelson. The collaborative effort for everyone that, that worked on this project is unlike anything I've ever seen before. There was the architect, Alexander Sheikin, riffing off the Blue River and 10 Mile Range. It tries to celebrate nature, beautiful nature of Colorado, of Breckenridge, and try to connect in non-nostalgic, very respectful way the new, the old, and hopefully see the future. There were interior designers, Kimberly Timmons and LaCatherine Chimpine, inspired by Breck's mining past. I just want to say that I've spent the last six years of my life working on this project, and it's um, quite an emotional experience to see my baby. And the Ranahan is not finished yet. A second phase is in the works for 123 total rooms, plus on-site housing for 22 employees. The Ranahan is north of Breck on Highway 9, just west of Tiger Road. This week on the State of Summit, you've never seen the slopes of Summit County quite like this. I've learned a little bit about a lot of things. That was Doozy Martin with Friends of the Dillon Ranger District, describing the countywide Ski with a Ranger program. Volunteers lead free hour-long tours every Friday at all four Summit ski areas, and we'll bet you didn't know this. Some geology about how we're on our third iteration of Rocky Mountains here. They've eroded away and, and formed and eroded and reformed. And, and even if you did know that, rangers give groups something new every week now through late March. Each mountain has something to offer so if you've been on one before uh, check out another mountain uh, we'd love to have you. Join FDRD's Ski with a Ranger program every Friday at 10 or 11 a.m. plus Saturday mornings at Copper. For meeting times and places see FDRD.org. Tune in again next Wednesday for the State of Summit on Crystal 93. In sports, the Nuggets play the Hornets tonight at 7. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency. All Summit High sports teams are off tonight and tomorrow, back Friday for basketball, hockey, and alpine ski. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.